This video is sponsored by Squarespace. These two apps make the editing process much quicker, and I would be remiss if I did not introduce them to you. Right out front, I am an affiliate for both of these companies, and the links in the description are affiliate links, but this is obviously going to be an honest review of how I use them and how I've seen them used. I'm gonna go through pros and cons of each of them, and then how I've utilized them in my workflow, uh, making videos for clients and for myself and everything. Quick top-level overview of Descript, you can load in your video files, your A-roll file. It transcribes that audio and then gives you, in essence, a Google Sheet that you can edit, and those edits are reflected in the video file. At that point, you can export the video file as a video, or you can export it as XML and bring it into your editing program to further fine-tune and, and tweak the edit and add B-roll and do whatever. You can also add B-roll in Descript. They've really worked to try to make it a fully functional editing software, but in its most basic form, it is a video editor whose user interface looks like a Google Sheet. Probably one of the biggest pros of using Descript, when you're editing video, because you have to listen to it to edit it, you generally, it's hard to listen to music while you're editing. So Descript, as long as you're able to edit a Word document while you're listening to music, you can edit a video while you listen to music. Secondly, and maybe a little bit more practically, it's, it's great for beginners. Like you don't need to know how to use an editing program in order to use Descript. You just need to know how to edit a Word doc. I think for you that probably doesn't matter very much, but one of the ways it could work, let's say you record an interview with a client, it's like 45 minutes long, you would probably want them to agree to this up front, but if you sent them the file in Descript, they could actually edit for the message of, of like what they want the six minute video to be themselves. Another perk, and this is a little bit beyond its basics functionality, but you can very easily add auto captions like that are animated. Um, I've used them on reels and, and stuff. And people are like, bro, how, what do, where are these captions? What are you doing? Like it, it's highlighting each word as I'm saying it. That's built in. It's fairly easy to add captions like that. So that's, a, that's definitely a pro. And then lastly, one of the biggest pros, especially when compared to Recut, is you can auto delete filler words like um and like and it, it, it actually highlights them when you load in the transcript and you can just in one click delete all of that stuff so you don't have to worry about that or delete it later on. Okay, so the cons of Descript, you have to upload a file. This file that I just uploaded here was like 23 gigabytes. It did this in less than 30 minutes. I'm not sure how they're doing it, but it, it definitely doesn't take as long as it would take to upload a file to say like Google Drive, but it does take time. It's a bit like the transcoding process. If you've ever had to transcode in your workflow, it's nice to be able to just plug in a video and start. It's hard to like plug in a video and then you have to wait for a while in order to start editing. So that's one of the cons, in my opinion. Con number two is you're gonna have to do the fine tuning if you wanna do fine tuning. Like, don't get me wrong, there's an argument for just leaving it kinda raw and choppy straight out of Descript, like, I understand that. But if you wanna do fine tuning, you're gonna have to do that after the fact, you know, export an XML and, and do it in an editor. When it comes to speed, yes, did it speed up your workflow to be able to edit it via text? Probably, but, did it slow you down because now you're in your editor again and having to go over the whole thing again and fine tune it, probably. Last con here is this is a subscription-based service. So there's a free version, you can try it out for free, but then the monthly subscriptions I think start at $12 a month. It's something that you're obviously gonna wanna be using and like really incorporating into your workflow to make it make sense to pay for it monthly. Like I said, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one online solution for building a website without needing to know how to code. So they have professional templates, you can just pick one, throw your content into it, and within a day, you have a website that's live on the internet. You can sell stuff with the Squarespace site. They've got a scheduler built in if you wanna schedule appointments through your Squarespace site. Obviously host your portfolio there. Whatever you need to do with a website, you can do with a Squarespace site. If you wanna try it out, you can go to squarespace.com slash Cody Warner, and then when you're ready to buy, use the code Cody Warner to get 10% off your first purchase. Okay, let's move on to Recut. Recut, in its basic functionality, is designed to take your A-roll and cut out all of the gaps and pauses in it 
so that you can just only work with the speaking moments of a video clip. I did an entire dedicated video on ReCut and how to use it and it's kind of more complex functionality if you wanna look at that. So one of the main perks is it's nearly immediate. It lives on your computer, you load a file in, it's gonna happen almost right away. It analyzes the audio, it does a great job even automatically without you adjusting any settings and then you can export an XML very fast. It happens almost immediately so there's none of that lag time of waiting for Descript to transcribe your audio. Second pro, and I guess it goes along with the con, is this is just one piece in a visual editing workflow. So you're still gonna have to listen to this to edit it, but one of my own personal biggest qualms with Descript, just being an editor and liking visual things and kind of thinking visually, I don't really wanna edit text. My primary way of editing is visual, is to be able to see and hear things and move stuff around and just visually edit. So ReCut is designed to just make that visual edit process faster. Last major pro of ReCut, at least for now, is that it's a one-time fee. So you buy ReCut, you have it, it lives on your computer. So the only other con then would just be there's more editing. You didn't delete any words out of your transcript in ReCut. You have to go and delete them visually out of your timeline in your editor. You can also do that within ReCut if you want to do like kind of your first pass inside ReCut. And again, is that a pro, is it a con? It just kind of depends on what you like. Like what's your style of editing? If you're looking to speed up your editing workflow, if you want to go for kind of like something that's fun and new and a different way to edit, give Descript a shot, especially because they have that free version, like give it a try. If you like editing, if you like getting into the zone of, of editing and editing visually, highly recommend giving ReCut a try. They both are very rad pieces of the toolkit to have in the professional editor's tool belt. Hope this was helpful. If you haven't subscribed, do it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.